distinguished participants, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to address you today at this side event of the UN Summit of the Future Action Days, hosted by the World Digital Technology Academy and its partners. I am Carol Roach from the Cabinet Office of the Government of the Bahamas and the Chair of the UN Internet Governance Forum Multi-Stakeholder Advisory Group. Let me first take this opportunity to thank the organizing entities for affording me this opportunity to speak to you. Digital technology is ever-present and inescapable. It influences how we live, work, and socially interact with each other and is a proven accelerator for the development of the economy, education, health, and transportation sectors. For small island developing states, in particular, digital drives the growth of industries that are the pillars of their economy, tourism, farming, and fishing. Truly, the most significant opportunity today is the potential of digital transformation and the use of technologies such as AI. However, although digital has brought extraordinary opportunities and advancement, it has also introduced significant risks and challenges that we must continue to address. Leveraging digital technologies must not ignore the threats to societies. People are crucial to digital transformation, and as such, we must first recognize that the groups that are disadvantaged economically, socially, and educationally offline are also tend to be disadvantaged digitally and online. These inequalities are not only being reflected, but may also be amplified online. Digital transformation must prioritize human capital, not only in terms of fundamental digital literacy, but also in capacity building for the workforce required to develop, maintain, and sustain digital development. Second, Recognize that connectivity and access gaps are a barrier to building an inclusive and diverse internet and digital ecosystem. The goal of digital inclusion is to level up the online environments so that everyone can embrace equitable digital development and socioeconomic growth. Third, recognize that culture and norms affect the adoption of digital technologies and therefore the success of digital transformation. Businesses and governments must strongly demonstrate the added value of digital. This transformation is not just about the technology, but the shift of mindsets that encourage testing, adopting, and embracing the transformation. This is emphasized for the public service. In SIDS, the government, the government is invariably the largest employer and has the largest and most diverse service offering. However, global analysis has shown that 70 to 80% of government digital transformation projects fail or do not meet expectation. Lastly, we need to recognize that the human rights and dignity of people must be upheld throughout innovation, design, and development. Data privacy and access to essential services such as education, health, shelter, and food must not be threatened and persons should not be alienated. Governments must put in place a regulatory framework that safeguards equity and inclusion, ensures data privacy and protection, consumer protection, and human rights while fostering fair market competition and innovation for emerging technologies. Digital technologies offer great potential to address the most unrelenting challenges. We saw this with COVID-19, and we see how it can improve resiliency. Technology is here to stay, and we must look at it as an everyday essential tool or asset, an integral part of our daily routines, no matter a person's standing or socially or economically. Policymakers need to embrace the concept of digital innovation and digital cooperation. These must be evident in policy development and must be reflected in the national strategies, frameworks, and implementation plans. The Internet Governance Forum is at the forefront of digital and internet technologies. 
It is recognized as a place for discussion, policy building, and the showcase for global digital progress. The IGF 2024 takes place from the 15th to the 19th of December in Riyadh, underneath the overarching theme of building a multi-stakeholder digital future, with its program being developed around four sub-themes. One, harnessing innovation and balancing risks in the digital space. Two, enhancing the digital contribution to peace, development, and sustainability. Three, advancing human rights and inclusion in the digital age. And four, improving digital governance for the internet we want. The forum will feature a rich program with engaging sessions on digital and the economy, digital and the environment, and the digital and the people. Speaking to gender and inclusion, gaps and catalysts, best practices and strategy alignment. IGF 2024 is not something you would want to miss. Registration is open for in-person and on-site participation. Please visit infogovforum.org and the IGF 2024 website. I thank you.